perfect coffee takes more than just hot water. It has to be high pressure water to extract maximum flavor. How does the machine do it? Cold water entering the coffee maker hits a powerful gadget. A rotor that spins at 30 times a second. Around the edges, four strong springs push out four veins to touch the chamber walls. As these veins spin, they draw in water, squeeze it against the sides and into a narrow pipe, tripling its pressure. The water flows to the boiler, where it's heated to almost 200 degrees and pushed towards the brew head. A system to create the ideal temperature and pressure that's been perfected over a hundred years. Water must drench every grain of coffee to achieve the perfect taste in the shortest possible time. One vital component, the brew head, makes sure the beans get a thorough soaking. The brew head has one final job to get right. Too much water will dilute the flavor. Too little and the coffee beans won't get wet. How does it control the flow? Hidden deep inside, a valve holds back the high pressure water. When you push the brew button, you activate the electromagnetic coil, rapidly pulling down the plunger to open the valve for 25 seconds. The water shoots through a channel as wide as a pinhead, spraying through three dispersal plates to hit the coffee at exactly the right pressure and temperature. So the machine always extracts the maximum flavor.